Hello. How's it going? Yeah, and I haven't played Battlefield in like, I don't know, I think it's been a couple weeks now. And I know they've been actually doing some updates, so now I'm curious to see exactly what kind of updates they have. Like, is there anything actually good in the game or still about the same? I don't know. We have to check if the wing woman is not nerfed. The <laughs> wing woman! I forgot she's named Sundance. It's okay. I emerged from the Final Fantasy XIV hole a couple days ago to play Battlefield. Rip the EXP grenades. Are they really that nerfed? I need to look at the patch notes again. Where can you see the changes? It's like on the Battlefield side, I think. Um, Let's see. Short summary improvements to bullet hit reg. Balance changes for bullet dispersion and recoil. Is bullet dispersion what they call bloom or random spread? Further balance changes to reduce the effectiveness of a bunch of weapons against vehicles or against infantry. So vehicles aren't as good, which is actually really nice because vehicles were OP as fuck. Multiple audio improvements. I actually already found their audio was insane, so. Improved hip fire accuracy for all SMGs. I'm just going through some of them right now, chat, as I'm uh, scrolling through. For the most part, it looks about increased time detonate a frag grenade, proc sensor they nerfed the fuck out of, soldier. Do they nerf hovercraft? Hover... Oh no, hovercraft. They nerfed the 40 millimeter blast damage load for 55 to 35. Okay, yeah, they apparently nerfed the hovercraft damage. The, what is dispersion on the wildcat? I don't even know what that is. 40 millimeter AP grenades. Okay, so it looks like for the most part though, everything that I use was only buffed with the sole exception of the EXP grenades, which... They nerfed the fuck out of right here. Holy shit. Lowered radius from 30 to 20 meters. <laughs> Lowering the radius like that's actually insane. L lowered the uptime from 30 seconds to 14 seconds. So they reduced the radius by 10 meters and then they cut the duration in half and then you can only deploy one instead of two. Okay. I think I'm still going to use them though. Pretty sure I still want to use them. Play. I'm thinking about getting Outriders. Is it fun? I like that game. I think it's actually getting a an expansion soon. Um, I did. I put in around forty to forty five hours into that game, and I had a really really good time. Just keep in mind that it's not. How do I put this? It's not meant to be like a Destiny game. They aren't updating it constantly and adding new content and stuff. They basically they added a bunch of stuff after launch, but they're not. They're not on the same like monetization because it's not a free to play game. They just want to put like one good campaign. The campaign for me took about 20 hours, I think, which is a, it has a, is a pretty lengthy campaign. And then to, they added a little bit of end game. So where you can actually have a reason to farm builds and whatnot. Also, I need a sec. This battlefield is already dying. Uh oh. Hey, 
Okay, I think we're good now. Give it a sec. I need to change the resolution because it was defaulting to my old monitor. And then um, I like the classic DLC setups that older games used to have. Yeah, that's pretty much what Outriders is like. They just have, you, you have a really good campaign and then you have a decent end game to give you an excuse to go try out all a bunch of builds. And then that's it. They don't really want to get you like hooked forever because they just want to make sure you have a good time and nothing is super super grindy in the game from my experience like it's fairly easy to try out all the new builds and stuff it the progression is very smooth i haven't done new warrior i need to get some things done before i'm excited the quest lap so far yes warframe later yes oh you think it's in my title actually double check yeah warframe at noon so like another hour about an hour and a half Oh no, why is it doing this again? It just did the whole setup for Battlefield. What the heck? Wait, what? Why is it doing this? I don't remember what my sensitivity was. Elfie remembers your keybinds? I don't remember my keybinds. Oh no, here we go. It's putting me in this again. Kill me. I was not expecting... Why did it do all this? This is so confusing. How weird. Shall we have a very small game today, guys? You're going to have to really pay attention because I can't see shit either. Battlefield is fixed, Copium. You know what, Chad? I bet it's because I was using a custom config. Right? I bet that was the I bet that was the bug. It's a horrible thing over the nine months. I think if I didn't have the custom config, it would be fine. I wish I could get through this intro without this uh, giant video, though, because then I could just get in and then immediately leave. Maybe if we delete reset, it'd be fine. Well, no, because if we delete reset, we're going to go through this a second time. I may as well just do this now and just be done with it. Right? Because now at least I can set everything else. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? Just close itself. Um, We'll go to 120 for today. Motion blur off. Turn everything else off. I put it all to medium. Well, actually, yeah, medium's fine. Off, DLSS, quality, sure, enabled, off, off, apply. Yes, keep. We'll see how it goes. Turn off for your settings, maybe we won't have to do it again. Well, now it's loading. Give it a sec. What happened, I think, was there was an update, and I think I had my config file set to read only, so it just bugged everything out. Okay, squad. Strategy simple. Wait, I still need to set my FOV. Where do I find FOV? General? Display FOV. I think this is vertical FOV. So we probably want, like, 80, 84, 85, somewhere around there for fun. Okay, I think we're good now. Exit to menu. Motion blur on for max immersion. Oh god, dude. Play the objective. No one reads that. No one cares. Come on. Wait, they added something. What the hell is this? This is new on the right side, chat. Weekly missions. Reward deal maker. Damage inflicted with any explosive kill objectives or at kill enemies, capture objectives. That's very straightforward. Have they nerfed Sundance, though? Are my loadouts still the same? The loadouts are saved, so we're safe. Oh, Tim, Tim, Tim. Five years. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Someone said there's 64 player. Co oh, Conquest 64 available for a limited time right here. There's also Breakthrough 64 too. Hmm. Better performance in 64, right? Oh yeah, 100% there would be. Do you think... Well, wait, are they different queues? If I queue for this, is there anyone even going to be in here? This is the real problem. Also, wait, so they buffed... They didn't buff. Um, they also buffed some of the rifles again. It said they nerfed some of the early recoil and stuff like the AK, I think. If they could just slap in Team Deathmatch the main mode, my life would be a happy place. Oh, God. Adjusted recoil vows to prevent over-aggressive recoil jumps for the AK, LCMG, PKP, SFAR, and the PP. The PP! So it's just the... So in other words, they just buffed the AK. And the AK was already really strong. Um, I guess we could try it. Also, they nerfed the proc sensor. Although I don't think there's any other grenade I would necessarily want in replacement of the proximity sensor. Maybe a smoke grenade, but that's about it. God, how weird is this going to be now? Also, it's going to lag because I just loaded the game. And if I remember about Battlefield, I haven't played it in like a couple weeks. Your first game lags like crazy. Like really bad. For the first like two or three minutes. I see they saw him fix the deploy though. I saw a gamer right over there. Wait, what? Wait, did I get baited? Did my teammate die? <laughs> this is fine. I'll start playing bet. Okay, I got baited, dude. This performance been improved for us plebs. I don't know. I'm lagging like crazy. Give me like... Report. You're probably going to have to give me a while to figure that out. Over I'm also just playing 64 player. 64 player feels good. Other than the stutters right now. Because I just basically had to re-download everything. I see they still have a nerf Sundance. That res time was really fast. Did they change res timers? It's like I have to load every individual gun. I can throw a proc sensor, but that's my only proc sensor now for the rest of the game. So 64 players now on a map this big. I don't even know if I like that. There's a gamer over here. I saw him. Oh, never mind. Because this map is really, really big, right? 64 players on this gargantuan map. Like, maybe if it was 64 players and you cut off, like, these other two points, it'd probably be really good. Not, like, half, obviously, but maybe a point or two. Also, wait. I didn't even look. There's only, like, five bots on every, on both teams right now, so we're safe. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can turn on the performance overlay for you guys. Although it's kind of fake for now because, well, we're in 64 players, right? What? How? Okay, I shot the fucking reeling. It already did cut off points. Solar Farm is not in 64 player. Wait, which one is Solar Farm? Solar Farm. Oh, the two in the top left. You're right. They did cut off two points. I didn't even notice. You're totally right. God, those stutters are insane. I think the car outside's contesting. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Good work. 
wonder what the three sectors are gone. I wonder what the third one they removed was. For the new patch, LMGs feel really good with the PKB being a little too good in close quarters. Prefer the starter with the bipod myself, though. I'm trying out the AK because I, I saw in the patch they buffed the recoil on a few of the guns. And so it said LMGs and it also said AK. And the AK was already one of the better guns, so... Although we saw these really long distances to go from point to point. Although, uh, dude, 64 player FPS is actually so much nicer. I actually, due to like a stream PC limitation for now, I cap my FPS or to like 120-ish. And so it's pretty much consistently hitting the max. The minimum FPS in normal was at 128 players. Well, they also, I think, did performance improvements. So I'd have to, after this game, I'll go into a 128 player and see what my FPS drops to. Into the sewers. Actually, wait, I don't have a beacon. Never mind. Take the back. But I hear gamers. I mean, they're just my teammates. <laughs> it's technically, I'm hearing gamers. Oh, this guy. Wait, wait. Dude, he's a rat. He's a rat. He has a fucking beacon down there. Is that the same guy that's killed? That's not a good point. You can call, you can call in vehicle. Oh yeah, the problem with calling in vehicles is, um, a lot of the time the vehicles are all taken. It's a different problem in. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I, just, I just got fucking tubed. Oh man, I was gonna, I was EMPing the tank. This guy just fucking noob tubes me. Do they reduce the amount of vehicles then for 64v64? I don't know. I just feel like in, uh, I can look in a sec. This is my first time ever playing it. Two, two, two. Yeah, I can't see that guy behind the objective marker. 64 player doesn't really fix FPS. Oh, it definitely does for my computer. I would say I get like 40, 50 more FPS. The game is ultra CPU bound. One of our objectives has been lost. Wait, I want to spawn one of these guys. Because in old, so in the old 128 player maps before the patches, when I last played like two weeks ago, I would regularly see FPS drops on my setup to like probably 50s, 40 to 50 FPS. 864p WTF. Um, if you're new to if you're new to Twitch, it's like a really really common thing. Uh, it's because Twitch doesn't have the same quality settings as other websites, and so most people who stream FPS games on Twitch, oh Jesus, <laughs> they stream at stuff less than 1080p. Wait, do you think they know? Wait, there's so many, they didn't notice. They didn't notice. This is fine. Damn, I need a better gun for this if I'm going to do run and gun that hard. Oh my god, he's in the fucking bush. Oh my god, get him, Timmy. Get him. He doesn't know. Yes. Wait, teammate. <laughs> he's owning. His name is Superboy. Help. What if they change any of Sundance's grenades too? All right, to the point. That's an unfortunate spawn for the. I'm just gonna pre-nade this. I don't know if they're still spawning. <laughs> oh god! Run!
Do you think they're following me all the way up here? I want to let my teammates spawn on me. Two of them are dead right now. Can you show me your attachments? Any reason for no grip? Oh, yeah, I guess I don't have a grip on. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, I think my teammates are coming. <laughs> Reason he forgot Papega. Yes, exactly. What the? Oh, I tried to cancel out of the, the thing. Also, Moko. Hard steel. Thank you. The ladder's death? Well, it's definitely death because I think that guy was below me the whole time. I never even saw him. You know, now that proximity sensors aren't just 100% uptime, there's going to be so many gamers just camping around in corners, chat. Did he talk about TF2 being down? What? Team Fortress? I was just playing the other day, it's not down. Well, I mean, it could be if there's a new Xbox. <laughs> let's, let's face it, dude. TF2's a... It's an older game. The Titanfall 2? Oh. Why not just say Titanfall 2? Come on. Come on, chat. But no, I had no idea Titanfall 2 was out. Because Boomer. Good work, no pets. <laughs> Are you playing Boomer Pugs? Someone did invite me to a Boomer Pugs Discord Zigster, but I didn't actually... I wasn't sure... Uh, what's it called? I never actually joined it. Although I wasn't into Pugs even when I was back in the day as a young TF2 gamer. Calling Titanfall 2 TF2 is disrespectful. Wouldn't go that far. But I would definitely say in the channel of a former competitive Team Fortress 2 player who played it for seven years, calling a game TF2 is not how my brain will ever operate. Let's, Let's try the 128 player, by the way, to try out uh, the FPS, see if anything's different. See, if you return to the second Doom DLC, if you want, it's not as punishing as the first DLC. I just didn't care. Uh, I genuinely feel like Doom Eternal is just simply not as good as Doom 2016. I just, I just don't think, that, like, I think I got too caught up in its own storylines and stuff, and I feel like I just didn't enjoy it as much. And then the gameplay... Like, don't get me wrong, the gameplay is really, really good and I enjoy it. But I think it also suffers from having too many weapons a lot of the time. Like, there's no reason that you need... I'm trying to think. Because you have, was it two or three modes per weapon? And then, like, eight weapons? I didn't feel like it really added that much. Although it was fun to combo stuff. It felt more tedious to remember when I'd go back to Doom what all the different weapons did and stuff rather than anything else. I didn't like being forced to use combos all the time. Well, combos I think are okay. I just felt like there's just so many fucking guns. Jesus Christ, it was annoying. Oh, we got the same map. So we're doing this. So it's actually kind of a good test then. Same map, but now we're in 128 versus 64 and see what we get. 2016 was also two active mods per weapon. I don't remember. I don't remember having the same amount of weapons and mods and everything as Eternal. You must stop the Americans from claiming it. The battle is in your hands. Oh god, they still make you spawn, huh? So we have to do the classic. Man, I feel like so much of Doom or sorry, not Doom, uh, Battlefield's problems 
of the maps feeling big just spawn right here in this screen. It is like the first impression of any player who ever plays their game. It's, yeah, you're going to spawn across the map. And if you don't find a vehicle, you are now forced to run for three minutes or redeploy. Pick one. A new player doesn't know to run out of vehicle, right? So immediately they sit there and they just jog for 10 years. And then they're like, why are the maps so big in my video game? What is Seagull doing? They control all of Bravo Sector. Delta 1 targeted for capture. Beginning attack. But back to Doom, though, I'm pretty sure the whole reason I just didn't care for Doom was because it, it, it actually started to focus. It, I don't know. There's like a very, very big difference in the feel of 2016's Doom versus Doom Eternal. And I think just that it, it was still really good. It just didn't feel... It's a difference between being really good and amazing. That's all. Also, wait, I probably should have just redeployed by this point. But now, but now, I've, now I'm at the sunk cost. It's like, you've already run like half the distance, streamer. Why not just keep on running? It'll be fine, streamer. Or you just sun dance your way over. Have I tried RDR2, Red Dead Redemption 2? No. Oh, that's not true. I did a little bit, but I didn't care for it. I felt the game was very boring. It's an extremely slower paced game. You need to go into it with like a certain mindset to truly enjoy it, I think. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to hit this guy. We're on E1, C1, A1. I guess I, what am I supposed to do? Pick up a sniper now and sit here forever? Is this a broken lobby? No, we don't have any bots in the game. This is weird. Oh, that guy's actually one tap. I think. Isn't it? I don't know. From that range, I think it might be five. Wait, there's gamers under me? What the fuck? Where do these guys come from? I'm gonna fly it all the way to B1 from here. Is that a sniper looking at me or is that just a lighthouse? Not a lighthouse, but... Is it just reflecting? I think it's, I think it's just reflecting. This is why we use low graphics chat. It's just a really big sniper. <laughs> just, dude, it's just a giant sniper rifle at the top of that tower. Just fucking massive. It's fucking Optimus Prime up there, dude. All right, the inevitable. But how do I cross the empty space of Oblivion? I'm sure this cross will be fine. Tuzi Kaba. Still another 300 meters. Yo, you got any cars for me, dude? Quick bolt check. I need a tank deployed on my marker. Why is it called an armored vehicle anyway? Is the bolt really that armored? Well, that guy's weak as hell. More armored than you? True. But I got a lad, dude. I see them, but I can't actually shoot them, so.
You can drop some mines around here, dude. Yo, you see him right there, buddy. Oh my god, he's just... <laughs> he's right there. He's right there. Oh, we got him. We got him. We're saved. Ping him. I don't remember how to ping. Is it Q or something? Oh, it's Q. Okay, okay. All right, say you too. Room, room. Did I miss any epic clips in the first 20 minutes? No, probably not. Also, voice will panic favor the 45 months. Says, hey, bird man. What's up, dude? Yo, relax. Relax. Oh, God, the chopper's looking at me. I'm fucked. Yeah, the chopper's just camping. There's nothing I can do. He's actually coming back around. But he's actually really weak. Quick, shoot him ourselves. Chan, do you think... Do I do even like a tenth of a damage spamming my AR at him? Can I like cancel his repair? <laughs> I wish, dude. Just to, just to make a helicopter mad. Was the bolt slower than usual or is it just me? Uh, the bolt was slower than usual because if the chopper's cannons hit any target, it has a stun effect built in. And so it, it'll, it'll slow you down, but also it'll also break the tread on the bolt. There's like two parts to it. So you're getting like a double slow a lot of the time. Oh, <gasps> someone ran into my mind. Get fucked. I got outplayed significantly. Before that, though, maybe you weren't boosting. Oh, yeah, I was definitely not boosting before that. Yeah, you're right. Quick, throw an EMP at him. We'll never expect it. The best part about throwing EMPs at people isn't that, like, it's useful. It's that it makes them angry. I don't, I don't think it's only really good versus tank, right? But if it gets them angry, that's where it's at. Did that just make it my proximity sensor by throwing it like this? I'm just kicking it around. Here, throw one outside. Hey, wait a minute. Someone's out the back door. Oh, choppers here. Wait, they're like chain spawning on this. Quick, throw more sensors. It's fine. Oh god, I'm getting surrounded right now. Boys, I think we're done, though. Quick, random grenade. Oh, he, he ran through it. Uh, it was one health. I had no idea. EMPs also work as a ghetto sensor because you get a notification if it hits someone. Oh, if you put it like a door, that's kind of big brain. You and Hassan should switch heads. Dude, my head is fucking massive. You know, now I've been using the AK a little bit, even though the recoil is nice. I, th I think I still enjoy... Okay, dude. He caught me as I'm throwing the proc sensor. <laughs> There's a guy to my right, too. I tried to slide to avoid him first. Fuck. I tell them the hat story streamer. Oh, God. I remember all the details at the moment. All right, wait. Let's try and Let's go back to the, the good gun. Is it the M5? Close range M5 was god tier. I think it spawns with all the attachments. I'm here. Tell 
Here you go, buddy. I thought I was crouched behind that. They wouldn't be able to see me. Fuck. Have I tried the last sniper? Oh, is that the 50 cal? No, not at all. I need to get my... Dude, I hope they don't kill my beacon. Oh, one of my teammates put up a beacon too. Let's go. Quick feed. Damn. Do I have like a times two scope on? By default? I couldn't see shit. PKP is the meta now since they nerfed the recoil. Damn. Meat grinder, I'm gonna wait until they leave. Stop the US forces from conquering every sector. Okay, I think we're chilling. They control all of Bravo sector. Come on in, buddy. Being scruffy 1001, what up? PKP full time out of, after running is insane though. I mean, it is a giant fucking LMG, right? That's like the point of the gun. But I know what you mean. Is there a, just a bolt sitting on the corner of the map up there right now, dude? Just watching everyone? We got him one health. We got him lagging. Janitors, please clean the tubes. Thank you. Oh, wait. Go, go, go. All right, we're safe now. It is, dude. He's literally just in an APC sitting on the hill. This guy is peak battlefield boomer. Every battlefield has one. In fact, I would like to believe that they're all the same person in everyone's game at all times. Marking trouble. Low ammo. Fuck. <laughs> That's not a good sign to see. Alright, wait, wait. I mean, I keep spawning over there and I distract him at least. Wait, how do we lose E1 over here in the meantime? We're just getting owned now. Um, Where do I want to spawn? I'll spawn. This. Well, it looks like we have 20 people about to, like, Zerg rush E1. I'm going over here. All right, back to A2. This is fine. This is... Oh, my God. He's still there. The battlefield boomer. He's still there. <laughs> Dude, he's still up there. Dude, they're everywhere. Holy shit. Hmm. Maybe a Sundance to fly over and see for it. Hey, 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 let's get it right. Okay. These are called um, C5s now. Okay. <laughs> These are definitely C5s. Extremely important. Make sure you get it right. Wait, I don't have a beacon anymore. Oh, dude. You think he's going to notice me if I just run across the map on this side? This is the dumbest play I'm ever going to do. 
He's not paying attention, dude. Oh no, what? He's moving! What? You mo decide to move now? Who are you, Battlefield Boomer? Go back to your hill! Stoop kid's leaving his stoop! Alright, where's he going? Act cool? Act natural. Wait. Wait. Hey! Wait a minute! What? Excuse me? Okay, dude. I've been outplayed, chat. <laughs> oh god, dude. Please show attachments you're using. It's all the attachments you get at, like, level 5 for the M5. I like that weapon a lot, it owns. Alright, well, we got E1, I guess. Back to... Back to the beacon, chat. Back to the beacon, let's fly over the mid. Here's my attachments. Pretty much every single one of these you get at like level three or something. It's very, very fast. But uh, to be honest, dude, I'm not someone to ask for attachments and stuff. Uh, it's my first time playing in like two weeks. I don't know what's been buffed or not buffed. I know the AK was buffed in the last update. So I would assume the AK is actually like really good right now. So same with some of the LMGs. Yo, come here, come here, come here. Guide me to C1. Onward. Look out. 80. 170 meters away. Wait, where are you going? Oh my god, he sees the gamer. I trust you have a craft driver. You seem like your clutch. You're gonna check out the big changes on Back for Blood? Oh, I did see that. They did do a huge patch on Back for Blood, you're right. It looks like they just made everything. Oh, we just got rolled. I guess he never repaired after he went back up. Or wait, wait, did they buff the M? They buff that now, right? Is that always one tap? Oh, they nerf the boat. Oh, okay. I remember there was like one of the other, like buff one, change one, something like that. I'm gonna go see if I can get to A1. Wait, that was a beacon I just flew by on the ground. Pretty sure that was the icon that just popped up. All right, time to hang out here. Quick A1. How have they not fixed this prone animation bug yet? I guess, to be fair, they are fixing them. Probably the more important bugs first. <laughs> dude, I just rolled through a molly that was on top of the box when I wasn't paying... Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. I saw the icon and I was like, ah, there's no way this is up here, dude. Let's see. I put the beacon up top, so I don't think they can actually get to it very easily, at least. But now, the big brain is now I spawn on my other teammate's beacon over at A2. And so while the other guy's spawning A1, I go to A2. The split push. Oh, he's here with me. Oh shit, that means they're all gonna be coming from that side probably, right? Quick random grenade. Called in an armored vehicle. Oh shit, what's he calling in? A tank? Or it could be a bolt, I guess. It's a bolt. Tur, what do you see, buddy? I thought that for sure would hit him. 
Oh my god, how many dudes is that on the hill right there? Oh, I can't go prone. Oh, did they make it so you can't go prone next to walls now? I was saying they're spamming prone the whole time. It wouldn't let me do it. Oh, wait, I was just prone earlier, though. That was weird. Wait, if we keep doing this, we force like 20 of them to spawn here. Is that a sniper? <laughs> the flashlight? He's probably like, what the fuck? Why is this guy shining a flashlight at me? He doesn't know about the secret strat. Well, maybe this is the cool spot to be in chat. Oh, no. Fuck. I saw a dot behind my teammate, but that didn't look behind me. <laughs> the new changes of the game reshape the whole structure of the game and I'll play even on Nightmare. It has some major changes and add new gimmick systems too. Yeah, and Back for Blood, I saw. So basically, if you guys haven't played Back for Blood or heard about it, apparently what they're doing, chat, is... If you guys remember, Back for Blood was all about speedrunning. Once you got to a certain difficulty level, like speed builds were some of the best in the game. They nerfed all the speed builds and then did a massive nerf to all the difficulties. They want it to be more viable to just... Also, I'm dead. Wait. Fly off? Behind the, behind the building? We're good? Uh oh. <laughs> Not good. And so... What happened is, on the hardest difficulty in Nightmare, for example, it was really hard to play the game normally, so a lot of people just ended up cheesing their way through via just speed builds, where you just run faster than the AI can spawn the zombies. And it got kind of toxic in-game, because if you weren't a speed build, and you happen to be on that mission, you're just, like, kind of throwing. But they nerfed all the speed builds, and then they nerfed the fuck out of Nightmare difficulty to try and make it so you could actually play the game normally. And so, I think they also said they were going to add a new difficulty above Nightmare now for the people who wanted, like, a giga difficult game. But Nightmare should be much more manageable and probably fun now. Most of my friends stopped playing Back for Blood because it felt very backwards to have veteran be really fun and like a little bit difficult but not really that hard to then have the difficulty jump to nightmare be you have it's so hard that you have to cheese the video game you know i just realized chat suppressors are probably really good now Because nobody has infinite proc sensors anymore, right? <laughs> Got like 10 dudes shooting me, dude. Outriders had a similar patch that made more builds viable. Um. Okay, I wouldn't compare Outriders to the same level of difficulty. So the, the comparison in Outriders to this, because I played a lot of Outriders at the start. Outriders, for example, only had really bullet builds being super, super viable at the start. And the only skill that I remember being even remotely viable on launch was Devastator's Force Set. Um, the equivalent in Outriders would be like, imagine if the only viable build was full tank builds and you like ran to the point and you didn't actually shoot anyone. I don't know. There's no easy comparison, right? Because it, it was essentially not really that beatable unless he got super, super, super lucky. And so people would just cheese it instead. At least Outriders had builds that worked. They were just imbalanced. In the other game, there was no very easy way to build. It's just you just speed ran like half the missions. Because that it was 
too hard otherwise. Okay, I wish I could turn off this like late round of music that's just weird sounds appearing. It's like it just starts screaming. It's like, what is happening? Oh my god, close quarters rounds at this range are tough. Stop the US forces from conquering every sector. Can I just see a dude out there? Oh, maybe it was that. Time to flashbang this guy. <laughs> Kitty. No, you stay now. Nerf the flashlight. That was something, right? That's it. I'm ready for round two. Chen, does anyone even know what the flashlight looks like for the other person? I just assume that it blinds them, but what if it just does nothing? What if it just makes you look like a sniper and it, it does no, actually nothing else? It does nothing? Really? But, dude, it was like a, a dark garage and I pull out the flashlight and I'm like, and start shining it in his eyes, like... But all it is just a little like a little sniper icon, you know, where you're just you're just slightly brighter than usual. I fucking Good hate advice. That. Kill. <laughs> Windrunner Kaladin. Thank you. Trouble. Nag, thank you for 27 months. Incarcinate 24. Thank you for the subs too. Wait, is breakthrough 64 any good too, chat? That's the only one I haven't played yet. Of the 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 new modes. Whoops. Collection, weapons. Um we could try out the AK too. Wait, I forgot I I I forgot I farmed the PKP. I spent like 20 minutes farming. I spent like probably more than that farming this gun and then I just never used it. Let's try it. It got buffed. Hello game. Oh, there it goes. Nice, nice. It's busted now. Hmm. Have you played Super People? Dude, people keep asking me about that, but the way someone else described it to me, they said it was just like a Chinese PUBG. We've got an no idea of accurate. With like a shit ton of abilities. It's exactly that. Other task are okay, that makes total sense because, well, PUBG is massive out there, so why would you not just try it yourself? Because I'm lazy as fuck. Wait, I need to actually change my loadout. We'll do next death. Um, let's go put the beacon on top of probably D1. It's to PUBG what Valorant is to CS. Yeah, but Valorant is actually, like, good. So you're saying this game might be actually be good? Bro, this little proc sensor can break a window? Valorant is good copium. It is. You can't lie. Chat, the only people who think Valorant isn't a good game are salty NACS players. Prove me wrong. All right, no gamers in here. Time to move on. What the? Hey. Hey. 
Hashtag Zoms Nation. I've been a, a member of the Zoms Nation since... Well, Overwatch, actually. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> He's like, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He sees me. Aren't you going to use the LMG? Yeah, but it's, I, I was talking and I spawned with the M5 and I haven't died yet. So next next spawn, I'll, I'll try out the LMG. I don't know where all these shoes are coming from, dude. I, I don't think there's enough enemies out here. I'm leaving. Yo, tank. What's up? Press N to make the minimap bigger or smaller. It didn't do anything. Did, did I just get baited? Dude, I saw the drone and I'm like, do you think he's doing it? He was doing it. God damn it. Oh, wait, there's a chopper. Chopper, 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 chopper. Okay. Oh, wait, where are we going, big boy? We're going F1? Wait, gamer? Going up? Going up? Whee! Dude, why does this chopper have so much thrust? This thing just looks straight up and just started going up. They're removing C5 drones in a future patch. I mean, yeah, I, I get... What the fuck? I just ricocheted off the floor. I mean, of course I ricocheted off the floor. I was going like 100 miles per hour. Darn MP9 users, dude. I fucking hate fun detected, removing fun. Well, no, I mean, I think it actually comes down to like almost a misunderstanding of like how Battlefield should be played. Like in my mind, they should never remove stuff like that because the silliness of Battlefield, no matter how broken it is one way or another, it's not super common because it does require two people, right? And so why not just leave it in the game? But I know other people in Battlefield get really upset at that. There's like a really weird tension in Battlefield and the general community of like, is this a serious game or is it not? Like the differences between, I guess, like just look at how people reacted, for example, to the Santa skin, dude. People were just like, get that shit out of my game. To the fucking Fortnite. It's very serious. It's a war game. No one's just to stand on my war game. And then they sit there and they're like, the C5 goes on the drone. And then they sit there and Sundance is like, wee. Hey, maybe, I don't know. Maybe Sundance is prom too, actually. I take that back. So, yeah, I guess to me, Battlefield is about the silliness. But I've seen, for example, on the Battlefield subreddit, I've seen Sundance clips posted, and the top comments will, with thousands of votes, will be, like, this shouldn't be in Battlefield. Like, this is just Call of Duty. Right? And they might have a point, honestly. You know, shit like Sundance be able to fly around like this. But to me, it kind of matches Battlefield silliness, so... I don't know what people want Battlefield to be. And anyway, back to that drone thing. I feel like the drone patch is a good example of that. Like, do you want to have like a balanced type of game? I don't know. Friendly forces are engaging Echo 2. Enemy forces have taken a blow. So keep coming. All right, where is this guy? I went through here and here. That means he's in one of these two corners, yeah? We just took Sector Alpha. <laughs> he was. Oh, God. 
I'd say people's frustration with the silliness is an extension of people's dissatisfaction with the state the game released it. Oh yeah, that's true too. Like, I, I think people wouldn't care as much if the game wasn't shit sometimes. Yeah, I agree with that. Hello, sound. If this guy's gonna crouch walk up to me, I'm gonna get outplayed. I'm not even mad. Did he just leave after I shot him? He's like, nah, I'm good. Take it, Dr. Charles. Fuck, there's three of them. They even lined up. What the hell was that? Weirdly, this makes me want to play Apex. Oh, see, like Sundance fly around and stuff. I don't know. I think ultimately it just comes down to what they want out of games like this. To me, Battlefield is all about the silliness. So I, I lean into it. I want all the silly shit. And I think there's other games that do the type of serious gameplay more. I forget what they're called. Um, it's not Squad, is it? There's, there's like one that's more serious for the gamers out there who really want to get sweaty, I guess. Mill Sims? Yeah. Who was shooting me? <laughs> okay, dude. Speaking of which, Arma 4 is on the horizon. Arma. Man. Dude, this is the ultimate death trap point, by the way. Your footsteps over there, I think. Fuck. Yeah, there's nowhere to know where people are coming from when you're on the point like this. And if they shoot you first, I think you die. Semi-auto AK build is the way. A semi-auto? Does that mean you have to spam click? That sounds awful. I hate spam click guns. I do... Wait, oh yeah, remember we said I want to try out the LMG. I forgot to change my loadout. Just hip fire him, it's fine. Hip firing with the SMG is probably really good too. Wait, I actually saw someone. Thank you, proximity sensor. Getting me free kills. Except I'm probably gonna die in a sec, but. Oh yeah. Wait, I don't know how that guy tanked that. The last like three or four bullets were all on him. I had a K30, goddamn. SMGs, huh? Let's go G1 instead. I think this means I can just take the elevator up to do it. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? You good? Is there more shooties going on over there? I need a retro at the Dude, something's going down. I'm summoning the doge. Oh, we got a gamer here. Alright, gotcha. going up top. MP9 shreds in this game. Yeah, I think the SMGs are actually really good. They just buffed them this patch too, but the only problem with SMGs is I think they have good fall off now. Like, I don't think they're that good at longer range. So someone else has a beacon there. Hey. Oh, wait, we just capped this point. Nice. 
Ranger connection, it says. Wait, what do you mean ranger connection? This guy needs to come up with me, dude. Yeah, that's some struggling hip fire on the LMG. That's definitely a struggle. I would try the What's the best what's the best SMG now, chat? I haven't actually tried any of them really. I was using the PBX for a little bit. Uh, obviously the PP is good. Wait, they buffed the PP just now, didn't they? they I think they did just actually buff the PP. Oh my god, I forgot about the shotgun. The shotgun is by far the coolest. All of them really? So they're all decently well balanced? K30 is nuts when you have a drum mag. Probably the suppressor actually. Suppressor's probably actually important now that nobody has infinite proximity sensors. The P90 is good. That guy definitely had a proc sensor up. Yo, hit the button. Oh, he tried to knife it. <laughs> Knives do not push buttons. I guess a knife can technically push a button. He's got to push softly. Wait, they're not up here? I thought for sure they'd be up here. All right, random grenades, let's go. Wonder, can I get on top of this? Like the very tippy top, I wonder? Can you do this? Dude, imagine. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, chill, dude. Wait, enemy beacon? <laughs> We're good? see where this guy is oh here he is you guys have a beacon there i gotta find that beacon i think it might be behind the wall somewhere because there's like three or four of them there now oh no now they're contesting i didn't have a beacon up top i feel like there should be a minimum content wait Dude, what's going on? Our forces control most sectors. Hostiles are trying to seize one of our objectives. There's still a few gamers up top. Reloading. Oh my god, someone put cover in here. Hello, Mr. Gauze Warframe yesterday. It was amazing. The new war update in the story they're putting out is, well, also full disclosure, I'm sponsored for it, but also after 300 hours in Warframe, it's pretty fucking good so far, the story. Although it's leading into some crazy directions, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to fully understand by the end of the storyline. <laughs> You're going into some like alternative reality shenanigans. What ammo type? Good point or good question. High power, apparently. I'm just, I don't know, dude. I haven't put much thought into my attachments and whatnot. Don't worry, no one can understand it. Yeah, and I'm gonna hit the end of the story today. And that's gonna be weird. Like, what do I do in normal Warframe after I'm like back to being Warframe? Wait, is that an actual enemy right there? It is. Wait, I'm going over to E2 instead. E2 needs help. Wow, look how fast that's coming. That's like at least five or six people. Wait, what the fuck? Oh shit, that's a turret. Oh shit, now someone else sees me. Sector echo in enemy hands. 
Yeah. They have wall hacks on me after this hurt shot me. Can you actually survive a fall with a wingsuit? Um, back in the day, chat. You know, people used to commute to work like this. IRL. In fact, you could probably ask many chatters who have done this every day. They did it uphill, in the snow, both ways, just like this. Sheer willpower versus gravity. We move there. We're securing Echo Two. Sector Alpha has fallen to the enemy. <laughs> that guy's probably like, "What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on in here, buddy? You good?" How do you even get it? In? Oh, he must have drove it in through the top and now he can't get it out, right? Wait a minute. I remember someone told me once that the bolt going backwards can fit into places it's not supposed to. So maybe he drove in here backwards? Payload. That was an easy cap. Or fell through the roof. Yeah, way more likely he just fell through the roof. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, let's go join the death point over here. One tank's going to show up or chopper. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. You don't see me. He can't kill us all. I mean, he could, but it'll take him too long. Hey. What the? Oh, they're spawning back there. Grenade boys. The PP is still busted good, huh? They never, the recoil, it has recoil now, but it's not that, not that bad. I might try them. Maybe not the, I don't think I like these as much. I really want to try the PBX more, which is like the starting one, but I need to get actual attachments for it. I think it does have maybe close combat PBX is the way to go. And then you just get like a muzzle break on it. That could be good. But I, I don't have anything else on it. Like, I'll put a light grip. Sure, why not? One of our objectives is under attack. Trust the MP9. Yeah, but I don't have attachments for that gun either. So I got to kind of... I mean, hey, the, the close quarters ammo feels okay with this. Also, wait, it says there's someone here. Sensor check. All right, he's dead. Hmm. Uh, you know what we could do? We can go check out B1. Or, sorry, D1. There's a gamer in here. I don't know where, but he's in here. Yeah, okay, SMG's a mid-range are tough. I don't know why. If I crouch here, do you think they'll see me? Any more bullets. Flashlight time. <laughs> Come on. I need to blind him with the flashlight. Dude. Dude. This. <laughs> I was really hoping the flash. I would blind him, dude. This thing does no damage. Yeah. The PBX definitely 
It does not feel as good. I bet the MP9 owns. Someone said the the K30 with a drum mag is really, really good. Let's see. How many drum mag is 300 kills? And it gives you 50 magazine size. Yeah, okay. I can see that. You could farm that out in like 20 minutes. It's over. This battle is won. The MP9 trends in close range, but you need an ammo box. Does it really run out that fast? Hmm. All right, I need to use the bathroom. And then I have Warframe in like 15 minutes. So I could probably fit in like half of one more game and just run around and feed. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Waiting for players to join. Oh no, do they still have bug servers? Come on, let's get out there. I haven't actually played enough to see if they have bug servers. Also, 10 minutes chat to playing or not playing, but oh I am playing, but finishing up new war. I don't know if I'm I'm trying to think how close I could be. I think it would probably take me at least two hours to go through most of it. So Gerb, take it for 31 months. Discarded. Oh yeah, this is one of this is another one of those maps, chat, where it's like. Eh, not my biggest. I think my biggest problem with a lot of these maps is they just feel so empty in between points like it's just so not much cover going on like around d1 d2 is just total empty space especially to e1 although around here there's a few there's a few good buildings this distance feels much better than this distance i don't know why they haven't gone it's just me as the map moving okay that was weird what the fuck <laughs> dude i was like wait what Uh, I'm gonna spawn over here. B1. I wonder if there's high ground I can jump off of. Yeah, crane. Oh, yeah. The crane. Is it really a crane? Radio tower looking thing? Oh, yeah. I'm on the pulse. 
rifle right now. Pulse rifle. <laughs> you can destiny on the mine. Okay. Maybe I don't hit fire. Wait, wait, wait. Did I even have attachments on? I didn't. Okay, back to the AR then. Get this grip. Puzzle break. Oh, big flank incoming, big flank. Flashbang! <laughs> the pocket flashbang. No one ever expects a pocket flashbang. Oh god, I didn't reload! <laughs> Fuck, I interrupted my reload. I need to have another po pocket flashbang right there, dude. Oh god, there's like 20 vehicles incoming. Oh, dude, that pilot is actually so weak in there. Oh god, they're in the tank. Oh god, there's two tanks! <laughs> I'm so fucked. Oh no, I spawned out here. Oh, wait a minute. I can do this, right? Maybe go up here, then jump off. That might work. Has the performance improved at all? I don't know. I mean, if you want better performance, go play the 64 player modes and it feels about the same. Um, not about the same. You'll get, so on my PC, which is 9900K and a 3090, I probably get like 30 to 40 more FPS because of my 9900K on 64 player versus 128. Which is massive. That's like 20, 30% more FPS. So I'd imagine if you have a lower end system, it's probably even more FPS. All right, classic beacon check, going up top. Wait, I can fly through that? Wait. Wait, I took no fault. Okay, listen, the game is totally fine. Absolutely no bugs here. Going up top. You can't take fall damage, you splat into the wall and slowly fall down. I didn't feel like I was slowly falling though. Location revealed. Well, as long as I don't get ganked from up top right now, we're chilling. And that was just a kill confirmed, dude. Oh god, they're up top. Run! I feel like this is such a feed just to run up here like this. Alright, wait, some ditch. It's an E1. Who is that shooting out here? You think my teammate won this fight? My teammate lost the 1v1. We must finish him. <laughs> Guys, probably just like, what the fuck? Beep, beep. <laughs> that was the same. 
same guy who I just... He just fucking spawned. Oh, shit. He's here. Oh, my God. He has a fucking SMG. <laughs> The poor guy, dude. Alright, wait. Teammate, did you live? Oh my god, he died instantly. That's not a good sign. He was camping in the corner. <gasps> wait, wait. This guy? No, this guy also fed. Alright, well, what's left? No vehicles. If I spawn here, I don't even know if I can... Probably best to spawn at this one, actually. Because it looks like these guys are trying to land up here. Also, chat, I got like two or three minutes to Warframe, so. See a nerd. Is that a truck I hear? Oh my god, there's a truck. He's just driving off. See, dude. Wait, someone just threw an RPG at him from downtown. Wait, he's dead. Oh my god, I got rolled. Alright, this is the spot. Now we're gaming. Uh. Oh my god, they got a shotgun. Terrifying. <laughs> the flashlight! The flashlight, the advantage, they never expect it. Oh my god, there's so many. My teammate is just trying to spam heals on me. Oh, that was too far. Uh oh, that's a tank. <laughs> Hip fire in the AK, not the best. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I want to see if they kill my beacon. If they didn't kill my beacon, I think I can try and take those three running up right now. All right, time to feed, time to feed. <laughs> okay, you know what? That, that's it. That was good. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, chat, I am scheduled for the Warframe. But that was a perfect way to end that, I think. Jesus Christ. Did it get a literal mob to kill you? Dude, imagine if you had an auto shotgun right there, though. That's the dream. All right, a second. Let me find my Warframe password as usual.